What's going on there, guys? And welcome back to Celebrity Overdose. Hulu's latest show, The Kardashians, is no less than a roller coaster ride as it keeps dropping new drama filled episodes. Recently, Sobbing Kim revealed how Kanye got the unreleased sex tapes back from her ex, Ray J. But things got ugly when Ray J decided to flip the coin and tell his side of the story. From what we know, Ray J says Kim Kardashian's story about Kanye West retrieving sex tape for her is a lie. Here's what seemingly really happened. Number 8. Kim Breaking Down Over Kanye's Gesture During the recent episode of The Kardashians, which aired on 28th of April, Skim's founder Kim broke into tears while revealing how Kanye West went from New York City to Los Angeles just to get the second scandalous sex tape and give it back to Kim. In the episode, Kim opens a suitcase in front of her family members and says, I want to show you guys what Kanye got me. He got me all of the sex tapes back and he got the computer it was on and the hard drive. He met with Ray J at the airport and he got it all back for me. Chris Jenner praised Wes for his kindness and Kim couldn't help but burst into tears at his gesture by the Easy Designer because it not only saved her message but saved her family, especially her kids as well. She revealed, I know Kanye did this for me, but he also did this for my kids. I want to shield them from as much as I can. If I have the power to, or if Kanye has the power to, that's just the most important thing to me and I'm so emotional because of it. It just means a lot to me. But Kim and the rest of the Kardashians didn't see what was coming. After this episode, Ray J bashed the Kardashian family for faking everything and showing that never happened. In one of the clips of the show on Instagram, he commented, All of this is a lie shaking my head. Can't let them do this anymore. So untrue. Number 7. Ray J speaking for the first time The notorious sex tape of Kim Kardashian and Ray J was released in 2007. The pair made it to Cabo, Mexico at the age of 21. Amidst the accusations, Ray J decided to break his silence and let the world know what he has been repressing all these years. He recently revealed, I've sat in the shadows for over 14 years allowing the Kardashians to use my name, to abuse my name, make billions of dollars over a decade and a half talking about a topic I've never really spoken about. In the Hulu series, Kim hinted that Ray J might have a video of him sticking a dildo in my ass. Ray J was infuriated by this claim by Kim as it makes him appear like a rapist. Jay has maintained that he has never done such a thing. After this statement, Kim said to Ray in a private message that if you're upset about the dildo comment, it was clearly a sarcastic joke and I was laughing when I said it. Number 6. The tape was released with mutual agreement. The tape was released when the two decided to end their years-long relationship. The tape was released with mutual agreement. The idea to release the tape was Jay's idea that he proposed to Kim seeing how Paris Hilton did the same thing that booted her into more and more spotlight. According to Jay, Kim fully supported his idea and even Kris Jenner helped them implement it. He said, I've never leaked anything. I've never leaked a sex tape in my life. It's never been a leak. It's always been a deal and a partnership between Kris Jenner and Kim and me and we've always been partners since the beginning of this thing. Later, it was revealed that the contract signed by the couple was for more than one video. Some sources say there were three videos and only one of them was released that was shot in Cabo. Number 5. Ray J claims Kim has all the tapes. Ray J has made it clear that all of the tapes were never in his possession, but it was Kim who kept them all this time in her house in her shoebox hidden under her bed. He revealed she kept them all. She had to go find that tape, sex tape, combo number one, and then present it. I had never had a tape in my possession in our whole relationship, he continued. I never had a single one in my house. She had them at her house. She's always had all the tapes in a Nike shoebox under her bed. He even went on to say that I'm sure she has bigger beds now and better boxes. That's how it all came about. Once I pitched the idea to her, just playing it around a little bit, just playing it around a little bit, that's when she jumped on the idea, talked to her mom, and it was out of my hands from there. What's really surprising about all this is that both Kim and Chris haven't yet responded to this claim made by Jay. Number 4. Ray J regrets his decision big time. Ray J says that he regrets that he played a role in releasing these tapes and how he hasn't been able to correct his mistake. 
What made him unable to do so is how he got into this contract without any legal advice. He said that this public defamation has brought misery upon him, his personal life and his career, so much so that he even felt suicidal at one point. He said, I felt suicidal because when you know something's real and it's true and you're watching a whole family create an empire from a lie they've created, it's heartbreaking and disrespectful to all the entertainers who've been honest and true to their craft. Talking about his struggles, he said, As a black man living and working in America, it's hard to get up every day and look out at the water or look at my family and know that they think something about you when you know it's 1000% the other way. How do you live like that? He said that he can't achieve anything with this tainted reputation. I couldn't be a part of any reputable major network television show and do Dancing with the Stars and do America's Got Talent or anything like that because of my image. Because of what they made me, I'm not allowed to be in those places. Number 3. Ray J insists that the Kardashians are lying. Ray J has claimed that the Kardashians have manipulated the whole story and that they're lying. He said, where in this whole story did Ray J become the person who leaked the tape and who's made their lives miserable? How do you believe that Ray J is the enemy of all enemies when we've been partners from the beginning of the sex tape being released up until now? We're all still making money. He continued to say that they've defamed and blamed him over and over again and it's high time he reveals the truth. He said that he had enough of their drama when Kim suggested in the recent episode that Jay might have some other explicit material after Kanye was seen to be boasting about how he got the stuff back from Ray J. Ray J, while presenting his side of the story, said that he gave his laptop to Kanye, which had pictures and mini videos of the time when the two were dating and nothing else. He said, I was proving to him that I've never been the enemy, I've never been the person they say I am. If that was the case, why are you guys trying to brainstorm, come up with ideas with me, and make me do what you guys say to do? Number 2. Kanye actually went to meet Ray J. Jay even clarified what is the lie he's referring to. He said, When I put on the comments that all of this is a lie, I didn't mean Kanye coming to meet with me about some second sex tape. He said that Kanye actually came to meet him. He added, I mean all of this is a lie. From the beginning of us putting the sex tape out, this has been the biggest lie in the industry and the history of entertainment. Number 1. Ray J is finally relieved We know that Ray J and Kim haven't been in contact in a long time, but recently, Jay revealed that he messaged Kim on Instagram to stop these false allegations. Jay said that I've been walking on eggshells thinking I'm going to get in trouble for telling the truth and I've been holding on to it for the past 14 years and watching them humiliate me. He said, you want me to continue to act the bad guy and you guys have brainwashed me into thinking that's okay. He said that he might face consequences for this but he is relieved now that he has spoken the truth and shown people that he's not the bad guy. That's it for today guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and also be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of our upcoming juicy videos in the future. Until next time, take care and goodbye.